Team Anyway is a research project on cognitive automobiles hosted at Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. It was founded in 2006 to foster the development of fully autonomous vehicles. Being hosted at a university, it is focusing on long-term research in scene understanding and vehicle control. The formation of Team Anyway was triggered by the Urban Challenge 2007, a competition of autonomous vehicles. Within less than one year, the team developed software for navigating urban environments based on street maps and precise vehicle localization. Out of more than 100 competing teams, only 11 reached the finals. Team Anyway was one of them. The experience of the Urban Challenge created a rich set of insights into the requirements of autonomous driving, which have been integrated into the current research of Team Anyway since then. Now the team is facing a new challenge, the Cran Cooperative Driving Challenge, or short GCDC. Creating cognitive automobiles is one of the most interesting challenges in research and engineering, including issues from perception, from scene understanding, from behavior creation and control. Now we are going one step further to cooperating vehicles which are sharing their intentions, which are communicating with each other and which are taking into account the decision of other vehicles. However, creating such a cognitive vehicle is more than just putting together building blocks from all these domains, no. Creating such a system as a whole is a challenge by itself and this challenge is tackled by Team Anyway. Communication adds another facet to the topic of autonomous driving. Fully autonomous driving relies heavily on onboard sensors. Understanding the environment is greatly simplified if valid data from other vehicles is available. Getting cars to communicate, however, is a challenge of its own. When we started working for the GCDC, we had no prior expertise with communication devices. Luckily, the car-to-car -car communication specification is a variant of the standard wireless LAN that we use in our institute every day, so we could build on some prior knowledge from there. Hardware that supports the car-to-car -car specification is hard to get and there were no drivers or no software available. In the end, we invested a lot of time getting a reliable communication over a few hundred meters working, but our final solution is now very reliable and well tested. We settled for relay computers that basically translate the data received by other cars into the database framework we are accustomed to work with. Getting information from other cars is one thing. But how can a vehicle controller benefit from this data? The Urban Challenge included unstructured environments as a scenario. These included both parking maneuvers as well as maneuvering in potentially maze-like environments. All these scenarios had in common that everything in the environment was either completely static or moving very slowly. Uh, in the GCDC things are quite to the contrary. It is inherently very dynamic and the vehicles will move in excess of 80 km per hour. For a good control strategy, we therefore have to not only consider the positions of the other vehicles, but also their velocities. Our control architecture uh, consists of two stages. The lower one is implemented on our real-time hardware, which talks directly to the car actuators, and its sole purpose is to track a reference acceleration, which is given to it by, by the upstream stage. The high-level controller is installed on the car main computer. It determines an optimal acceler acceleration based on the current platoon state. It is implemented as a model predictive controller and hence allows us to explicitly model the limits of the actuators. The control strategy is implemented on a standard passenger car, which is equipped with additional sensors and computers. 
On the left side of our prototype vehicle's trunk, you can see the electronic power supply for its various components, and on top of it, the inertial measurement unit, giving us a very precise GPS localization. On the right-hand side, the main part is the x86-based PC with two 6-core CPUs and a high-end GPU, so we can handle computationally intensive image processing tasks. The connection to our vehicle's CAN bus made with the DSpace Auto Box on top of it. It, for example, makes wheel speed sensors or radar targets available on the PC. The GCDC will take place in May 2011. However, this will not be the end of Team Anyway's efforts. What are the next challenges and where will be the focus? One of the big challenges is perception of the environment. As our ultimate goal is safe autonomous driving in inner cities, uh, reliable detection of pedestrians and cyclists becomes crucial. Therefore, the car has not only to sense to the front, but also to adjacent lanes and sideways. One sensor that is capable of scanning this large field of view is the Velodyne laser scanner. Mounted on top of the car, it has a field of view of 360 degrees. As this sensor directly measures distance, it is quite easy to reason about obstacles and free space. In static environments, this information can for example directly be used for autonomous parking. In dynamic environments, it gets more complicated. But we developed an algorithm for estimating the motion of other traffic participants. Making this algorithm more robust and trying to predict the behavior of others is one focus of Team Anyway. Beside the laser scanner, we use video cameras as complementary sensors for environment perception. Currently, we are working on efficient stereo vision and 3D reconstruction methods. Our algorithms allow us to build accurate maps of the environment in real time, which can then be used for self-localization and path planning, for example. We are also working on stereo-based visual odometry, which becomes an important localization component wherever GPS reception is weak. To gain a better understanding of traffic scenarios, global reasoning about the scene is important. Based on latest advancements in machine learning, we are developing systems which analyze static and dynamic features in the image. They produce plausible 3D geometry and topology proposals solely from video sequences. We believe that combining such systems with traditional navigation maps leads us the next steps towards a vision of fully autonomous driving. Team Anyway has always believed in the mutual benefit of science and engineering. Experience has shown that this approach is successful. However, many questions remain unanswered. Reason enough for Team Anyway to continue its efforts in turning autonomous vehicles from science fiction into reality.